everybody. It's Kevin Gordon again with the Kids Ministries of Central Church. And today we're going to make another baking project. All right, Mother's Day is coming up on Sunday. And this is a little cake that you, or actually cupcakes, little cakes, that you can make for your mom for Mother's Day. You will need an adult's help. So try to get your dad to help you if your dad is around. If not, mom can help you. Uh, but just, she needs to know it's for Mother's Day for, uh, uh, well, it wouldn't be a surprise if she's helping you, but it's a gift for her, okay? So you're going to need lots of ingredients to, uh, for this. All right, so uh, first we're going to start according to my directions here. Uh, we're going to, in a small bowl, use the wooden spoon, and we're going to... Um, Stir the cream cheese and the fourth cup of sugar. Okay, now the cream cheese is softened already, so you can leave it out and let it soften over you know a couple of hours. I put mine in the microwave for a few seconds. Okay, and then we're going to mix the cream cheese with the uh, nope with the sugar, which my sugar is way in the front. Nope, those are nuts. Uh, right there, yep. There's my sugar. Okay, this is a uh, quarter cup of sugar. So we put them in there together and then we're going to use the spoon and stir them up. And even though the cream cheese is softened, it's still a little hard, so you'll have to use some effort to mix them up. Okay. All right, so now we're going to take the nuts and uh, put the nuts and uh, let's see, that's a two-thirds cup, nope, sorry, that's uh, two tablespoons of chopped nuts. Now, you don't have to put the nuts in if you're allergic to nuts, but we're using pecans, okay? And then you're also going to put the vanilla in, which is half a teaspoon of vanilla. Mm -hmm. You mix all that up in there with your spoon. All right, those are pretty well mixed, so we can set this bowl to the side. I'm gonna, in this bowl, I'm going to mix the flour, the cocoa, and the baking powder, okay? And I'm going to put in two-thirds cup of flour. There I go. And then I'm going to put in a fourth of a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. Okay, that's right in front of where the flour was. Right there. All right, fourth of a cup of cocoa powder. Set that to the side. All right, and now I'm going to put in the baking powder, which is right in front of where that was. And this is uh, a teaspoon of baking powder. I'm going to mix up these dry ingredients. Okay, they're pretty mixed up. So I'm going to put this bowl just out in front of me. Okay. And then in another bowl, it says that I'm going to uh, cream a half cup of sugar. So this is uh, my sugar, which is a half a cup of sugar. Pour it in. And then I'm going to mix it with a fourth cup of butter. And this is softened butter too, so you can leave it out and let it soften for a couple of hours, or you could put it in the microwave for a few seconds, which is what I did. So now I'm going to mix it up with the spoon. It says I'm going to cream it, okay? So as you're mixing it up, you'll see that it kind of turns into uh, not necessarily a cream, but kind of a um, paste. You can use the back of your spoon and smush it together. Uh, once I've creamed the sugar and the butter with the spoon, I'm going to stir in my egg. And I'm just going to pour it right into the paste I made. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to stir it together. Okay, I'm also going to put in the vanilla, uh, some more vanilla. It says, uh, let's see, a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Yep, right there. Mm -hmm. And I mix that up together with my spoon. I have my wet ingredients getting mixed up, and as soon as that's pretty well mixed, you're going to start pouring in your dry ingredients that you did in the other bowl. That's the flour, the cocoa, baking powder. Okay, looks good for me. So I'm going to reach out right in front of this big bowl and reach my other bowl that has a spoon in it. And I'm going to pour in about half of this into the wet. Okay, that's about good. I'll set that back because I'm going to use the rest of it in just a minute. So now you can mix up the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients. Okay, that's pretty well mixed up. Now I'm going to, it says, uh, slowly stir in the milk until smooth. Now pour it in. It says this was a half a cup of milk. 
So now I'm going to stir that together. So that looks pretty good. Now you're going to pour in the rest of the dry ingredients. It's a, to my left in the big bowl, bigger bowl. Yes, right there. And I can just dump it in once I'm over the bowl. I am. Okay, so we got everything mixed up. I see I cleared off my workspace so I can uh, put everything into my cupcake forms. Okay, so here on the left, we got uh, my batter. So you're going to use about a big, uh, big tablespoon. And you're going to take some of that out and put a little bit, just a tablespoonful. I can put a little bit more than that. That's good. And you're going to put a little bit in each cup. Okay. Now, before you put them into the cups, you want to put a paper cup inside of the metal cup. All right. Now you have the bottom of your uh, cupcakes um, with batter. So now you're going to put some of this uh, cream cheese nut filling on it. If you don't have nuts, that's fine. Just the cream cheese and sugar. Okay, so you get some out, and there, I'll just set it down right there. Take your other spoon, because you're going to have to scrape it off, into the batter, just right on top of it. Okay. Yep, and then you may need to spread it out to make sure it's in the center, but that's okay. So then you'll fill each one of your cups like that. All right, now once you got the filling on top of the bottom part of your batter, you're going to take the batter and put some more on the top. All right, so we finished all of our cups, our cupcakes. We're gonna take them to the oven. It says you're gonna bake them at uh, 375 for 20 minutes. All right, we've baked our cupcakes, and remember, you can hold on to yours till Mother's Day. Thanks for joining us. Talk to you later.